Rigging can be a very boring and long process, and often it can be very hard. So in this video, we gathered for you guys some add-ons that will help you with the process of rigging and speed up the workflow massively. These add-ons will help you with rigging faces, characters, vehicles, and so on. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Blender Rig 6, which is an awesome and powerful rigging system for Blender, created by Sav Martin and Juan Pablo Boza. You might recognize the name because he worked on some of the most popular Blender open movie projects such as Agent 327, Cosmos Laundromat, Spring, and many other projects. He mainly worked on rigging, and he used the Blend Rig add-on to achieve that. So this add-on is already tried and tested in real productions. This rigging system allows users with or without knowledge of rigging to create high-quality rigged characters, which is really interesting. And what's more awesome about this add-on is that it ships with an interactive rigging assistant guide which will guide you through all the steps of rigging from start to finish. The guide will also include tips and text explaining what to do in each step. There are also animated images to make sure you understand exactly what to do and even better, it automates more than 50% of the work that you will need to do like setting up bones, weight painting, and shape keys just to name a few. Blend Rig is also able to generate realistic character rigs as well as cartoony characters because it offers many features such as mesh deform, pre-weighted meshes, advanced facial rigs, automatic shape keys, and driver's generation to name a few. The add-on was actually first created way back in 2007, and it was used throughout the years in many projects such as Bugs Buddies, Here Body, and the Barstone VFX hit show The Series of the Men in the High Castle. By the way, we actually created a video on Barstorm production and how they created the Man in the High Castle and how they used Blender to do that. Finally, and here is the kicker. The add-on is available for free and you can grab a copy of Blender Rig 6 right now by following the link in the description down below. Next we're gonna talk about AutoRig Pro, which is one of the most popular add-ons for rigging characters or targeting animations. In addition, it provides FBX export for Unity and Unreal Engine. This tool was first developed as an in-house rigging tool, and they released it a few years ago, and since then, they have added many updates with many features. The add-on is great because it got speed. So, if the character is humanoid, the smart feature can automatically place the bones to speed up the process, after adding the green markers. Interestingly enough, the result is remaining editable meaning you can adjust whatever you want. Non-humanoid characters can also be rigged manually without the smart feature. This include horses, dogs, or any animal with four legs. So, based on a non-destructive workflow, the final rig remains easily editable anytime after its generation, and it is also possible to customize the rig in a short period of time. This includes fingers, wings, toes, spine bones, multiple neck bones, tails, breasts, ears, and much more. Also, it is possible to duplicate or remove limbs to raise spiders, centaurs, or whatever. Overall, the add-on is excellent, and a lot of artists use it because it gets the job done, in addition to being a fantastic time saver. Another Blender add-on that I really like is Face It, which basically allows for facial expressions and performance capture inside Blender. Faceit gives you all the tools you need for facial rigging, in addition to motion capture and animation, and it has an intuitive, semi-automatic, and non-destructive workflow that will assist you with the process of creating facial shape keys. So whether your model is a photorealistic human, a stylized character, a cartoon model, the facial shape keys will adapt perfectly to your model's topology and morphology. This add-on, as you can see, is specialized in facial animation, and 3D animators really find it useful, so you might as well give it a shot. Faceit includes semi-automatic face rigging, as well as automatic and surprisingly precise weighing. Also, you can fit rigs and expressions to your characters by placing Faceit landmarks in addition to choosing from different shape key presets, which are automatically generated by ArcKit. The add-on is generally great, and it has many other features that you can try for yourself. Also, it will ease up the process for facial rigging 
and speed up your workflow massively, which will give you more time to focus on animations. Now we're gonna jump from rigging characters to now rigging cars and vehicles. RBC is an add-on that allows you to create realistic, physics-based vehicle rigs in just a few minutes. Using it is actually really easy, and it has an intuitive interface. It also comes with advanced options to enable you to customize the rigs you make. In addition, it has more features such as RBC Collision, which allows the car to collide with objects that you select. Also, there is an animation panel that works as a tool that provides you with options to record and bake the animation of your vehicle's rig. Another cool thing about it is the controls menu, which provides you with a variety of control options for animating your car rig. These options include drivers, game controllers, and keyboard shortcuts, which allows you to control the rig in different ways and make quick adjustments to it. Moreover, there is a tuning menu that allows you to access advanced tuning options to fine-tune your vehicle rig, so you can tune the suspension, weight, and the wheel friction. And this will help you create a rig that is perfectly suited for your animation needs. Generally speaking, the Anno works well, and I like it a lot. On top of that, it has a free version that you can try for yourself. The next add-on we have is different from others because it allows you to add physics to your bones. And the add-on is called Bone Dynamics Pro, which is from the same dude who made Simple Cage, which is a really popular add-on. The essence of Bone Dynamics Pro is basically allowing you to turn your simple animations into animations that look realistic. This is the case by just adding bones to your rig to make it look more reactive and interactive. The add-on also has other features that can assist you in different areas. For example, you can add collision on the entire bone, and you can have bone dynamic parenting and also displacement, in addition to the ability to stretch bones and make a bone chain. Overall, the add-on is really easy to set up and it offers a lot of options to make tweaking easier. And the most important thing, it has a free version that allows you to try it and see what it can do. Last but not least, we have Rigify, which is a Blender add-on for rigging that comes with an automatic rigging system generator, which can be used in different animation projects. The good thing about Rigify is its simplicity, because it takes out the technicality out of rigging and makes it more artistic. So anyone, meaning you and I, can create a character and rig it in just a few minutes using this tool. It can be great for professionals who don't have a lot of time or for beginners who don't want to fry their brains trying to rig a character from scratch, especially in the early stages of your journey. Rigify can be great for simple rigs or quick jobs that don't need a very complex rig for doing specific things. So when rigging complex characters for a show or a big animation project, you might want to create your custom rig in order to have more control and create something that allows more flexibility, especially in the long term. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.